The rise of social media means baby pictures don't just live in a frame or a photo album anymore. They can easily be shared and instantly with all of your family and friends. However, it's not easy getting a baby to pose for the camera. Oh, oh. that's me! Oh, how Is cute. that Lisa Kearney? That's me. You are so adorable. You're so getting happy. ready for the show. <laughs> well, Deborah Hope is really from Redhead Photography in New Jersey is here with tips we hope to soon be using ourselves. Well, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you. And now we looked at your pictures before. Your pictures are so unique and unbelievably cute. So how do you capture these moments with babies? It's a really interesting situation. I take every individual baby separately. Um, every baby is different. They all have different needs and different um, startling reflexes. It's a really separate and, and individual process that I kind of customize. So I soothe them, I um, make sure that they're fed, mm -hmm. they have to be full um, in order for them to be sleeping soundly. And I just basically, depending on the specific baby, um, I make sure that they're soothed and hot and warm and, and comfortable. That yes. works for us too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they do that before we come on the show every morning. Hey, John, you want to ask her about these photos over here? So what about the one, how did you do this This picture of the uh, baby hanging in the basket? It's interesting, this one over here, are you talking yeah. about? Yes. That's actually a composited picture. A lot of the newborn photos are composites for the safety of the baby. Oh, that's my baby, it's oh, the one down no, here. That's, uh, that's this is Elizabeth the one we're talking Elliot. about right here. Yeah, the one hanging right next to me. Can we get a shot of that one? So how did you, you said it's a composite? That's a composite. A lot of the newborn oh. photographs are composited, which basically means that there are multiple photographs combined into one for the safety of the baby. So no, I don't actually hang a baby on a tree or put a baby in a basket, as you see on the, on the screen. So wait a minute, um, so that baby is not in that basket? It's on a floor. It's, no, the baby's in a basket, but it's actually on the floor. Right, and yes. then you put, you add the background to it after the fact. Correct. I, I actually photographed multiple pictures. So I photographed the baby on the floor in the basket being held. Right. And then I photographed somebody holding the basket without the baby in it, and I combined the photographs together. That oh, is genius. Now I have to ask you. Wow. I, I have a, an infant little daughter. We did these pictures when she was like three weeks old, mm -hmm. and it took two days hours upon hours to get like six that were like good and we we ended up putting her in um, my husband played football we put her in his helmet and you know that took like hours to do so how long does it take you to do these really unique and awesome photos and get them to look the way they do well you're talking with toddlers with toddlers no teeny different. little ones. oh the teeny little ones yeah they're actually not so so um challenging as you think i just i have very specific soothing techniques so when a parent comes in i have a couple of requirements like i said number one the baby needs to be fed right. fed like as in you've had too much turkey dinner oh that that, that baby looks That's happy and yes. full wow. right there and, and it's funny because that that actually happens as a natural response once they go into a deep sleep mm -hmm. they start having facial expressions and oh. movements and if you're quick enough to be able to capture it, then you know you can get it on camera. Mm -hmm. um, fortunately, in my studio, I don't use strobes. I use continuous lighting, so I'm able to constantly click the shutter and capture. It won't startle them either. It, it doesn't startle them, and that's also very helpful when it comes to like capturing, you know, your sibling shots because sometimes yeah. two-year-olds, especially, they can get really, you know, nervous and uh, upset with strobe lighting, with flash. So what about the people at home who like to take pictures? They're, you know, they like their iPhone pictures or just their regular, what advice do you have for them? Um, you know, honestly, the best thing to do is to probably, especially depending on the age, use uh -huh. natural light. Go by a window. Um, instead of using, you know, camera flash, natural light is much more aesthetically pleasing. Um, the, it just, the skin tones and the shadow detail, you'll end up getting a lot better of results. And especially with, you know, young ones that if you want to get siblings together, uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. it'll be a lot more of a friendly environment. Instead of making them feel like you're taking their picture, you want them to feel like you're engaging them, like you're having fun with them and, you know, you're playing with them essentially. Sure. And then you're going to get those natural responses, those natural smiles that you're looking for. Yeah, they don't do what you want when they're almost two. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. So you took some pictures of us? Really? Lisa? That's me. Apparently. <laughs> oh, hey now, there I am in a basket. I love that. You know, I look so angelic and fed. Oh, oh See, I, I had just burped. That's why we have to. Oh, oh so that's like the other photo. Yeah. Oh, Deborah, those are great. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, real quickly, do you, uh, do you recommend that we, you, we invest in a better lens? 
You know, it depends. There's a lot of good cameras out there now. You can get those kit lens packages yeah. where they have, you know, a digital SLR. Um, you know, it will help you. Um, you know, lenses, obviously, the better glass you have, yeah. the better the photo will be. But mm -hmm. again, it's really the person that's behind the camera. You know, yeah. you've heard this analogy before, but, you know, it doesn't matter how many good pots and pans you have if you can't cook. Yeah, you can't cook. Yeah. Can't cook. The well, pans you may can be great. Cook. There is that. Yeah. Yes. Well, Deborah, thanks so much for being You're here. You're very we welcome. Appreciate Thank it. you for having Thank me. Thank you. And if you want to find out more information about uh, redhead photography, uh huh, get it? Uh, <laughs> go to our website, WLMYTV.com slash the couch, and we want to see your baby photos too. You can find a link on our site to share your pictures with yeah, us. Oh, please Send your do. pictures. We love to see them. Thanks. <laughs>